Good afternoon, and welcome to the 2022 Future Generations Commencement Ceremony. I'd like to welcome President Daniel Taylor to the podium. This is a welcome, and this is a university. So we're going to start with a test. <laughs> okay? And anybody who has been a student or who is about to be a graduate, I'm expecting a perfect score. Okay? You now have to answer these questions. But because we work in partnerships at Future Generations, right? You can work together as a class. So, the degree's name is what? That we're about to have awarded. Come on, either the students or the graduates. Please, now you can't read your crib sheet. <laughs> All of that. What is the name of the degree? Applied Community Development. Applied Community Development. And if you want to do Applied Community Development, where and with whom do you do it? At Future Generations. The community. The community. <laughs> And what is a community at future generations? A shared, a shared vision group. <coughs> who are willing like, to act together on something. He's getting there. So <laughs> help, him, help him get a perfect mark. Shared common goal with the ability to act on it. We're getting there. <laughs> now that we've got, do you want to, somebody want to save the rest of the class before I give a B? <laughs> a community is a group that shares something in common. That's the first verb, sharing in common. With the potential to act together. That's what we are going to do as alumni. Now, how do we do that? Where do we begin? Come on. This is the final exam, folks. <laughs> the final exam. Where do you begin? Success. In growing the potential to act together. Successes. Successes. Mm -hmm. successes. What is a success? I see that's got a scale. <laughs> That's the process. <laughs> yep. The success. Do you want me to help you out because we're in partnership? <laughs> sure. <laughs> the success lies in human energy that is rising like a seed, right? Now, it's rising like a seed. Success is rising like of human energy. But where's the humans in this process? Where's the team? The beginning point we have is successes. Where's the team, folks? The community. That's part of it. What is the team? It's future generations. This is not communities by communities and only communities. That doesn't work. Three-way partnership. Three-way partnership. What is a three-way partnership? <laughs> what is a three-way partnership, folks? What is the role of the community in a three-way partnership? Not yet. Bottom, uh, bottom up. Bottom up. Uh, represented by community. Right. And uh, outside in. Is represented by? Expert. By you, as a graduate. <laughs> okay. And the... Uh, Top down. Top down. Yeah. Presented mm -hmm. by officials, the government, the enabling environment. And business, right? Your job as the outside in is to make the top down more enabling the business sector, the government sector, religion, what have you, so the bottom up can grow. It's a partnership. Now, how do you make decisions in that otherwise confrontational process? 
I realize I'm using different words that are in your text, but I'm, the test is to see if you've learned the ideas rather than <laughs> memorize the text. Evidence-based evidence -based decision. <laughs> what is evidence? Facts, baby. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now, what is a fact? Oh. <laughs> a fact is something that is un a truth that's understood by one person that can be repeated by another person. It's why, as scholars, the foundational process of higher education is peer review. The university is peer reviewed by other universities. That's why you're about to get your degree, because we have been held to the highest standards of higher education in the United States because we are judged by our peers in higher education in the United States. In this case, by the Higher Learning Commission, which is the oldest and largest accrediting body in the United States. It goes back 120 years. Okay? Now, what happens at the end of the process? You gotta do it all over again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what is the key word in that do it's over all. again? Iteration? Iteration. Iteration. It's doing it over again. Okay, it's doing it. In other words, what we are producing is the measurable results that come is behavior changes. Every person in the world, every community in the world can improve their behaviors so that we learn to adapt adaptly. And with that, from everybody who's a student and everybody who's a graduate and everybody who's continuing to learn, well. Thank you for that stress-free welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we will now be awarding the Master of Arts in Applied Community Development. Please welcome the Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Deepak Polakrishnan. All right. By the authority granted unto me by the West Virginia Higher Education Commission, I hereby affirm the authority of Future Generations University to grant the following degrees. The first degree goes to Carissa Grosia. I'm from Cranston, Rhode Island, and to just tell you um, under three minutes about myself, I moved to Baltimore, Maryland for college where I um, studied speech language hearing sciences and received my Bachelor of Arts as a first generation college student. Um, after working for a little bit, I found myself joining AmeriCorps VISTA with the Delaware Divisions of Libraries. So I moved to the second small estate for about a year. Um, I knew I wanted to go back to school, so I was looking into some graduate programs where my VISTA supervisor at the time had mentioned um, a program that would match our Siegel Education Award at Future Generations University, which I hadn't heard of, but I did some research. It looked really interesting, aligned with some community development that I could maybe see myself doing, so I applied. And then in the summer of 2020, or a little bit before that, I found out I was accepted, and I also had applied for and ex was accepted to serve as an AmeriCorps VISTA mm -hmm. leader with the Sawyer Center at Brown University in my home state of Rhode Island. So I found myself moving back home, uh, had an entire virtual year as a VISTA leader and completed my first year of virtual grad school. So 
as we all know, the last two years were unprecedented times. I'm not going to divulge into that, but here we are graduating. And my current role is with the Community Provider Network of Rhode Island, um, which I found out about through my DISTA service. Um, and that is a nonprofit <coughs> trade association of private providers in the state of Rhode Island of services and supports to individuals with developmental and intellectual disabilities, which uh, I'll be there for about a year now, and I'm excited to use everything I've learned um, in my current role. So, thank you. Fabienne Jean. Hello, my name is Fabienne Jean and I'm from Haiti. It is an honor for me to be here because uh, I did not know that I will make it this far. Because uh, suffering from a severe chronic depression, I cannot count the time that I quit the program. <laughs> and uh, without the support of very extraordinary person, I won't be here. So let me dedicate this moment to my mom, which is um, a tireless and courageous mother who taught me that even in the most difficult circumstances, the best attitude that I can have is to move forward, whatever it takes. To my little brother, Gregory will never cease to inspire and support me in my darkest moment. My sister who has been everything to me literally, as well as the other member of my family who, test, who show me love, indigence, and support while my very difficult time. Thank you to the staff of the university for being such extraordinary guides for me. You probably have no idea of how much your patience understanding and sense of duty have been important, especially for us in Haiti, because studying in Haiti online is very challenging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your contribution is priceless, and you are so awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you to my invaluable friends who in one way or another helped me with the little support, with the little and the things make it a reality today. For the past few years, our country Haiti has been in the news for a lot of bad reason. Today, when I look in the eyes of young men and women of my country, I can read despair, fear, and the desire to live. Because it's like the hell that we want to live. But what I learned from the university and what it reinforced my idea that no government, NGO, or any authority will come to save us with a miracle solution. The solution must, must come from us, only we have to return to our motto, which is, unity is strength. For that, we must start by chasing individualism. We have to strengthen our communities. We're building that trust and enthusiasm to work together and make our home that pleasant place that welcome people in search of freedom and well-being. We need to appropriate these three Haitian proverbs, which is voisinage et famille, c'est colonne qui bat, et puis la Pénion Congo, c'est pour tout Congo, which literally means neighborhood is family, unity is strength, and one of us problem must be all of us problem. To you, my fellow student, I was honored to see and learn from the amazing work you do in your home. 
Future generations have made us very privileged by planting a seed of hope, of hope and renewal we on us. Seed care is this tool for revolutionary change that we needed to understand that I am nothing without you and you are nothing without me, and that we must get our conventional patterns to adapt will change to our reality. So let's continue to grow this seed, this seed in our, our home, our neighborhood, our community, and make this world a better place for ourselves and for the generation to come. Thank you. Can you all hear me okay? <laughs> cool. Uh, my name is Matt Gleason. I'm from Colorado. Uh, born and raised um, and have found it a hard place to leave. Um, as some of you know, I served as an AmeriCorps for three terms uh, following my graduation um, at CU. And um, near my, the end of my term, uh, my AmeriCorps director shared with me the master's program here at FGU and thought it would be a good fit for me. I knew I wanted to pursue some more education following my undergrad and um, was looking into a, a city plan, urban planning and city development um, program at the time at uh, CU Denver. Um, so I started to weigh the options between the two um, and took the chance with FGU and I'm really glad that I did. Um, and it was exactly what I was looking for that, at that time in my life. After I completed my first semester, I was talking to my sister-in-law who had just completed that program at um, CU Denver. And um, she was sharing with me some of the challenges that she was facing in, in city planning and urban development in Denver. Um, and in that conversation, I knew I made the right decision for myself. Um, I can't recall the exact cir circumstances of her work, but uh, she was sharing the challenges that the city was having and gathering community voice and input on a proposed project. Um, they were simply just having challenges getting conversations at people's front door. Um, they weren't desired and um, they just didn't want to take any, um, partake in any conversation with the city planners. And I presume that is because um, this already underserved community had had plenty of top-down and outside-in influence that wasn't really taking their voice into account. Um, and even though the city would check the box of being inclusive and, and trying to gather that input, um, it really wasn't serving the community. Um, and at this time, I was also introduced to seed scale, which um, I think I was doing a lot of that stuff, but it still blew my mind of like, uh, just the structure of it. Um, yeah, it just rewired my, my brain completely. Um, and it was clear to me when talking to my sister and lives that the community just wasn't uh, being involved or empowered and therefore truly disengaged. And uh, I, I do believe that's a narrative happening far too common and um, it shouldn't be that way, which is one thing that I really appreciate about seed scale um, and breaking that down and helping to correct the harm that's been done. So reflecting back on my experience with this program, um, I believe that FGU has made the hard work of community change look uh, easy and obtainable, even though it is uh, hard work. Um, and I think that's because they acknowledge the aspects of being human in living life through a community lens, especially from the bottom up. Uh, and that's what I appreciate most about Seed Scale, especially working with youth who are an ar arguably our future. I look forward to continuing my path uh, with what I've learned um, from all involved, and I want to thank you for being a part of my, my journey in this process. Daniel 
and the said Mamuya. Staffs, alumni, graduate of Future Jesus University, your families and friends. I would like to say congratulations. Today is a special day that we can remember. It is easy to overlook our blessing around us, but while extremely fortunate to be part of such an incredible university and it is honor to be here with you in such a wonderful event. The diversity of our classes and multidisciplinary professors that built our experience to be community change agent and make us future generation university family. Over the past few years I am not grow only individual but together with my friends families and community as well. I believe we formed best and successful community with an, in a difficult situation of COVID-19 pandemic. As, as many scholars said, I believe tough situations build strong people, challenges continue in, in our life, but always the courage to continue and learn who we are truly. As we all remember, Due to the COVID-19 pandemic outbreaks, such a kind of ceremony had been conducted virtually. We create our definition of life by our virtue and push ourselves to achieve our dream. Likewise, as an applied community graduate, we have to apply the city scale, principles and tasks in our community by facilitating to define, identify their success rather than expecting externally and overlooking blessing resource available whenever in the world that is human energy. I appreciate to know the city scale community development approach because it is new approach for me and my community and I believe it is applicable to bring real sustainable change in the community. I have been applying the city scale approach in an institutionalized based with one another future Generation University and Munai member here with us for some. Finally, I, I would like to thank you those who support me because without real support of Almighty God, friends, families, and professors will, will not be here today. First, thank you, God. Because of God, I'm here to with you with this amazing and lovely Future Jersey University ceremony. Next, I would like to thank you, my family, especially my lovely wife, Sablonga, and my daughter, Eldana, and son, Hansel. Thank you for your patience and smile support. And I'd like to thank you, my friend, real friend, who opened the door to join this incredible university, who is Fasa, still here with us, honestly. <coughs> Finally, I'd like to thank you, my real professors, for your real appreciation, support, and reserved support for this successful degree. Congratulations once again. Thank you. on the schedule for a, a word of appreciation and you know reflecting on that it's it is a deep appreciation um, for all of us to be here together um, 
you know, being in a graduate program is a lot of work. And it's a lot of work when it's just the one thing that you're doing. But as we know, our students are juggling full-time work, full-time community work, full-time family work, and their studies all together. So I am so grateful that you have managed to get to, to this end point with us and, and be here with us to celebrate. And it feels like it's been a long time um, to be able to be in a room with current students. So I'm appreciative of those who are here on the field, the, the Appalachian Field Residential, because that's another thing that we've been able to bring into the room and, and it's really special. And I, on behalf of the staff who work out of this office, I wanna say we're so happy to be able to host you here because we love living here. We love being in this beautiful environment and, it, and it's such a joy to be able to bring you, bring you here. Um, thanks to the Board of, of, of Trustees for coming up here and meeting with us and giving us of your time and your, your dedication and energy um, to this organization as, as we move forward. So, and thanks to the friends and family of the graduates who have made it up here to North Mountain um, to be able to look out that view and the clouds have, have gone away and the sun was just out. So it's, it's really, a, it's, I, it, I'm sort of speechless as to what to say, to, but I really am so thankful that the faculty that are here can be here. The faculty that are online are are tuning in, and and it just it, it, it is. It, there's no words to say how how much I really like being able to celebrate what I know we put a lot of effort into day day to day to to be here. So thank you very much. And now I'd like to ask Deepak the uh, Deepak Gopalos Krishna, chair of the board of trustees, to give our closing remarks. All right. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, it's so good to have everybody in the same room, uh, the faculty, the board of trustees, the staff. I uh, just wanted to share my appreciation for all the work it goes to host. Uh, so thank you for all the staff uh, in the back who helped put this together. Um, I just wanted to, uh, being the chair of the board of trustees and being involved in the board of trustees for I think close to 15 years now, um, it's always been, this has been the proudest thing we do as a Board of Trustees, is to award degrees, to meet the students. This is the best part of my job. Um, but I wanted to start off with a story. The reason we exist is a miracle. <laughs> it was an idea that somebody had that there is something we can do in terms of creating a master's program for applied community development. This is not like other universities. We don't have a football team to start. <laughs> we don't have basketball rounds. We don't have a lot of facilities on campus. This idea that there is a repeatable, scalable process for community development that students would be interested in and benefit from was incredibly difficult as an idea to take off. The HLC, the, 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 the accreditation group that gives us these degrees, they weren't convinced. <laughs> This was new to them. We are, and in my mind, what convinced the first group of HLC accreditors, the people that say, yes, this is a master's program that we want to award degrees to, came when they went to a residential. Our initial goal for this university was to create 100 nodes of change, which we thought was, man, that is an ambitious goal. Let's just say, we have gone past that goal significantly. And what I want to tell the graduates here is many times in many institutions when you graduate, it's a personal accomplishment. Here, it's an accomplishment for your community because most of our graduates work in our communities. They continue after their graduation to work. They, do a, they have more of an impact. You are joining a group you're joining a network that is 30 years in the making. Your alumni, the fellow graduates that are sitting next to you, the graduates that are coming up next, and all those who have graduated before you are your peers. They are working in communities. They are facing the same problems you mentioned in your speeches. They are your resources. They are proud to communicate with you, to work with you, to join hands with you on projects. And that is what makes our university different. We don't graduate and then move on to our own personal goals. We are part of a network. 
And that has been some of the most important things we've seen in this institution. So welcome to our network. Welcome to our grand experiment. Uh, it's been one of the most uh, fruitful journeys we've had. Uh, I hope you see this graduation as the start of your engagement with the future generations, as the start of what you will do with your communities, but also as what, how you will work with your other graduates and other peers. So we will come back to you to help us. <laughs> that is something that we do. So look forward to uh, keeping you engaged with this organization. But today is to celebrate. Congratulations on your wonderful achievement. And thank you all for being here.